In this video, I'm going to show you how to fix a low shoulder at home. Stay tuned. Hey everyone, Dr. Rowe from Spine Care in St. Joseph, Michigan. In this video, we're going to help fix a lower or depressed shoulder on one side in a very easy two-part process. In the first part, we're going to focus on stretching tight muscles that might be bringing that shoulder downwards. In the second part, we're going to focus on strengthening the muscles that elevate or bring the shoulders upwards, so hopefully this will level it off on both sides. All of these exercises can be done at home. They're very easy, safe, and effective. So let's get started and fix that low shoulder right now. In the first part, we're going to focus on releasing tight muscles that might be drawing that shoulder downward. And we're going to go after the five big players, the first being the serratus anterior, which lies right here off to the side, kind of underneath the armpit. This is known as a serratus anterior wall glide. We need one of two things, either a towel or a paper plate to help take friction out of this gliding motion. What I'm going to do is go next to a wall or a door. Have very good upright posture to start off with. Let's place the towel in front of us off to the side that you're focusing on. So in this case, it's going to be my right side. What I'm going to do is take my palm and just put a little bit of pressure into the towel, into the door to create a stable anchor point. From there, what I want to do is just raise my fingers up towards the ceiling in a gliding motion as far as I can. The more that you raise your hand and fingers up towards the ceiling, the more that you're going to feel a stretch right through here. That's the serratus anterior muscle getting activated. Challenge yourself to reach up as far as you can. Once we hit a very comfortable stretch, hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, what you're going to want to do is take your hand, place it on the other side hip, and then just lean away from the side that you're stretching. So in this case, I'm leaning towards my left if I'm focusing on my right side. And this will really stretch into that area, so only go to your comfort level. Again, hold this one for 10 to 15 seconds. From there, you're just going to relax, come back to the starting point, and then just simply repeat this three to five times. Each time you do it, challenge yourself to build more into the stretch because it's only going to help release more tightness into that serratus anterior muscle. With this exercise, we're going to focus on a big muscle group, the latissimus dorsi, or the lats, right off to the side. I find that this one is easiest to do with a rolling chair, but if you don't have one, I will show you how to do it also using no chair. Let's start off on our knees for this, so make sure to put a pillow or towel underneath for extra comfort. We're going to be doing a modified yoga pose called the child's pose. What I'm going to do is place my hands right on the chair like this, have a very good posture into my back, tuck the chin towards the chest, and then reach out with the arms as much as we can. When we do this and roll the chair away from us like this, you're going to feel a great stretch in the upper back. Once we hit a point where it's a very good stretch, lower the butt down at that point while reaching out as far as you can to intensify it. You'll probably feel it from the shoulders all the way down to the tailbone. Once we hit a very comfortable stretch from there, this is how we're going to activate the lats. If I'm focusing on one side, let's say that I have a low shoulder on my left, what I want to do is raise my right leg, place it over the left like this, shift my weight over to my left side as much as I can. And then I'm going to just simply take the chair and turn my upper body towards the right. It's kind of rotating over this direction. When you do this, you're going to feel that muscle right through here, that lat, really start to get a great stretch and activate. Only go to your comfort level. Once we hit this point, hold this for 15 to 20 seconds, and then come back to the starting point, take a breather, and then on the next repetition, try to stretch into it even more, really challenge yourself, and repeat this three to five times. If you do not have a chair, you can use an elevated flat surface, bed, couch, desk, it all works, or you can just use the floor. It's the same type of movement. You're just gonna reach out, you're going to tuck the chin, go down all the way, shift the body weight over to one side, and then just simply crawl over with your hands just like this. This next exercise is going to be a combo stretch that's going to hit the chest or pec muscles in front and the rhomboids in between the shoulder blades in the back, so you get a two-for-one deal. I'm going to be using a door frame for this one, so I hope you have a door frame too. What I'm going to do, place my feet together and start off by doing a three-part process. The first part, I'm just going to form a Y with my arms, so my elbows are going to be straight, hands pointed about 45 degrees away from my body. I'm just going to lean into the doorway with my body weight. The more that you lean into it, the more intense the stretch is going to get. 
With this one right here, I feel it mostly into the chest. But once I feel a very comfortable, good stretch, I hold this for 15 to 20 seconds. From there, I relax, and then I repeat this three to five times. With each repetition, challenge yourself to use your body weight to lean into it even more to get a better stretch. The next part, I'm going to do kind of like a field goal position. I'm going to put my arms like this, flush against the door frame. Again, use your body weight to lean into it as far as you're able to. With this position, I tend to feel it not only into the chest, but also in between the shoulder blades. It should feel like the shoulder blades are starting to pinch together. 15 to 20 second holds, relax three to five times, challenge yourself to go further with each repetition. The last one, let's take the elbows down as much as we can to form a W with our arms and our upper body. Again, leaning into it, and you're going to notice that the muscles just get hit a little bit differently. Three to five repetitions for 15 to 20 second holds. With this exercise, we're going to focus on the lower trapezius muscle. You'll feel it right at the base of the shoulder blade. You can do this one standing or seated. The movement, very easy. What I'm going to do, start off with very good upright posture. Whatever side that I'm focusing on, let's say I have a right lower shoulder. Take that arm straight and then go 45 degrees down towards the opposite side. Take the other hand, what I'm going to do is grab at the elbow and I'm going to pull it down even further. When you do this, you're going to feel muscles start to get activated in and around the shoulder blade region. Really challenge yourself to try to drive that down. With the second part, what I'm going to do is I'm going to slouch forward into it as much as I can. So really round the back, the upper back, I should say. When you do this, you're going to feel a great activation of muscles around the bottom of the shoulder blade. If you feel that, you know that you're hitting the upper trapezius muscle. You want to do this one comfortably for three to five repetitions. With each repetition, try to challenge yourself by stretching into it even more. So reach over and slouch into it even more. Go through all of the exercises and do a before and after. If you feel that that shoulder is starting to come back up into better alignment, you know that they're working for you. In the second part, we're going to focus on muscles that help elevate or lift the shoulder up and strengthen them, notably the upper trapezius muscle. The easiest way to go about doing this is with shrugging or lifting the shoulder up towards the ear motions. What I'm going to be using is a simple weight for this. This right here is just a gallon jug of disinfectant. You can use a milk jug. If you're lucky enough, use some dumbbells. The more weight resistance that you have during this exercise, the more it's going to be challenging for those muscles and help strengthen them. Let's start standing with very good upright posture. The movement is very easy. I'm going to keep the arms straight. The movement, I'm focusing on taking my ear and shrugging it up towards the shoulder. Really try to lift that shoulder up as much as you can with that weight being secured in your hand. You're going to feel that the muscles right up here at the top of the shoulder really start to fire. Hold this position comfortably for up to 30 seconds. The longer that you hold it, the more strength is going to build in that area. So really aim for that 30 second mark. From there, you're going to relax and then you're going to repeat this up to five times. Really focus on trying to drive that shoulder up even more. You can then increase weights as you get stronger to challenge those muscles and hopefully build more strength in there. This next strengthening exercise is known as a leg shrug and it's wonderful because you can get a great shoulder workout using no equipment. Let's lay flat on our back on the floor. Whatever side that we're focusing on, take the other side and just put the leg straight just like this. Keep that side bent. Let's take that side's arm and grab right in front of the knee. You can also grab behind the knee if you feel like you have a little bit better of a placement. First movement is very simple. Let's just do a simple shrug up towards the ear. So take that shoulder up towards the ear. When you do this, it's going to be a little bit harder because you have to drag the weight of the leg with it. Hold this position for 30 seconds. Really focus on taking the shoulder up as much as you can. You just want to relax and then repeat this one three to five times. This is how we can take it to the next level. What I'm going to do is use my leg muscles to then pull downwards. So take the knee down as much as you can, but allow the shoulder to be able to beat that strength of the legs and still draw that shoulder upwards and shrug it towards the ear. Only go to your comfort level, but you should really feel these muscles start to activate. Again, hold this for 30 seconds. From there, take a breather, and then on the next repetition, try to drive the knee down even further, but still allow the shoulder to beat it. And you want to do this one for three to five repetitions. You'll feel a great activation of those upper trapezius muscles, and hopefully that will help bring that shoulder 
upwards. If you liked the video and got a lot of relief, please show us your support by giving this video a like and maybe subscribing to our channel too. If you have any comments or questions, please leave them below. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. Thank you for watching.